on to the first item, which is a proclamation, uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Good evening and thank you. On behalf of the 14 agencies that we in the city of Renton partnership with, several are here with us this evening. Throughout the month of October, we will feature these organizations and their programs to spread awareness of the help that's available for those experiencing domestic violence. Tonight, I am pleased to invite Katya from Project Be Free to say a few words about their program as our highlighted agency of the year. Project Be Free is an organization that was founded in August of 2020. We are an organization that supports individuals and families that are at risk or experiencing domestic violence. We wanted to create an opportunity to serve and help the community alongside of law enforcement. My role for domestic violence cases is to offer a safe and judgment-free zone for victims to come and tell their story. Uh, the only thing I can promise in these investigations is that they are supported and believed. Uh, domestic violence can have dangerous um, ripples through a community. Children who uh, are witnesses to domestic violence situations often suffer from physical and mental health problems later. It's also uh, an epidemic that can pass from generation to generation. So I think awareness initiatives to bring prevention and action into play is really important. I'm the victim advocate with the city of Renton, the Renton Police Department, and I am going on 22 years here with the city of Renton. I'm considered a systems-based advocate. I refer out to one of our 14 programs that are funded through the city of Renton. We encounter the victims through the police department or through the judicial process. I can offer them safety planning, resources for housing, for financial assistance. I also help them through the judicial process, um, providing them with court dates and times. I work very closely with the prosecutor's office and their team so that the victim, if they want to communicate with the city prosecutor, I can link them to the city prosecutor. So the city of Renton takes exception and pride into offering services for victims of domestic violence. And them knowing that they are not alone and have resources uh, gives them a sense of empowerment. So other than being supported and believed, I think putting some power back into their court uh, will help them through this process and maybe prevent uh, domestic violence from happening in the future. Project Be Free has two main programs that support our community members. The program that we are most known for is what is called our co-response program in which licensed clinicians go in alongside our law enforcement partners and go in to DV 911 calls. In those instances, we help individuals and families navigate that difficult situation. So we do crisis response with police officers. Police officers can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We can help with protection orders. We can help with relocation. We can help with some counseling. We offer therapy sessions. We offer youth life coaching. There's a wide range of things that you can build to help a family if you can recognize that domestic violence is a family issue. So in the month of October, um, what we have done here at the city of Renton is we have adopted the Purple Light campaign. We string purple lights on all the trees in front of City Hall just to bring about an awareness to the domestic violence that is happening in our community. We also have our silhouettes. Our silhouettes are in the lobby. It's called the Silent Witness Project. The Silent Witness Project is a silhouette of a community member that has passed due to domestic violence here in the city of Renton. So that's another way that the city honors those residents that unfortunately lost their life to domestic violence. I encourage all of us to deepen our understanding of domestic violence and to make meaningful steps towards preventing it. I think that the victims will feel that the city of Renton detectives, especially those who work domestic violence cases, are supportive and trying to keep their safety in mind. I think what is really exciting for our team is that people have buy-in 
there is trust and rapport that we can form with people pretty quickly. We can be able to help navigate to a solution themselves and walk alongside them in that experience. Oftentimes we just need someone that is going to hear us out in order to tell us that we can do something. Let us not only raise awareness, but also be the change that ensures a world free from violence. Thank you.